Hey guys, welcome back to another video and for today's video I'm going to be talking about the peak development for the supporting characters in Naruto. And for today's character breakdown we're going to be talking about Neji and his fight against Kitamaru. But before we get into the video, like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you would also like to help the channel to continue to grow and provide you guys with quality content on a consistent basis, head over to my Patreon and become a member of my Patreon. The link to my Patreon is in the, the oh my god, the description box and in my bio. But if you don't want to commit to my Patreon, I am expecting <laughs> accepting cash outs at Cash App. At Jacob Tutu, the link to my cash app is in the bio. Now let's get back to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about Neji Hyuga and his fight against Kitamaru in the Sasuke Retrieval arc, which to me is the pinnacle of almost every supporting character in Naruto in terms of the Konoha game. Neji vs Kitamaru is arguably one of the most spectacular and well-known battles in all of Naruto that will forever live in infamy. We were first introduced to Neji in the 36th chapter of the manga and the 21st episode of the anime. And I remember the day in 2005 or 2006 as a child when I first laid my eyes on Neji. I was immediately captivated and impressed by his presence and persona. We saw him use his Byakugan to cheat on the written part of the Chunin exams, and we all remember the infamous encounter with him and Sasuke at the Chunin exams. And we even saw him intimidate Dosu and the sound ninja Ginin in the Forest of Death with his Byakugan. With his direct and melancholy attitude and personality, it's almost as if we had a second Sasuke with Neji. To see and find out that Neji was the older cousin to Hinata and the disdain and disregard he had towards her and the main family, leading up to his battle and defeat to Naruto, taking us to the Sasuke retrieval arc which has played a significant part in shaping the perception that us or most of the viewers had about Neji Hyuga. This was a huge character moment and breakthrough for this character. And if you were not an Neji fan like I was, you definitely were afterwards. Neji was the strongest of the Sasuke retrieval team, arguably, well no he was, versus Kitamaru, the strongest of the, of the Sound 4 Ninja. And I think people underestimate the shift in tone the Sasuke retrieval arc set for the Naruto series moving forward in general. To see Neji Hyuga partake on his first mission for us to see after the intense fight he had with Naruto in the Chunin exams, it's a complete 180 character development to see a more understood and relatable Neji. To see him risk and put his life on the line for the strongest foe he's ever gone against, a close combat fighter, Neji versus a mid to long range aerial attacker such as Kitamaru. To see Neji use jutsu we've never even seen him use against Naruto in the Chunin exams, or even to this day, like H. Trigram's 128 palms and H. Trigram's last resort that he has since never used again against an opponent who was his adversary in every way and winning the fight at near death against Kitamaru, humanizing a once cold and stonewalled character. It was almost as if this fight gave a rebirth and redemption to this character to see Kitamaru utilize his second stage amped curse mark and barrage Neji to the brink of death, using his analytical skills to determine his blind spots in his Byakugan, and viciously barraging him with his bows and arrows, with everything in his favor and for Neji to still come out on top. It was real, truly a magical moment, and it is a shame how they treated Neji in Naruto Shippuden and moving forward in general. And that marks it for this video. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.